Hello guys, Nato Ace here, and it's gonna be my thoughts on the return of <coughs> Goldberg. So if you watched the recent episode of Monday Night Raw, Goldberg actually did return, and it's, a lot of people were happy, they're excited, you know, if you're a Goldberg fan, of course. So basically, why, well, why not, if you know the reason is... He's promoting WWE 2K17. <laughs> Why? Because, he, he, because just, well, the reason is he's the pre-order special. If Brock Lesnar, the, basically the cover of the game, he's the special pre-order for 2017, which is kind of weird, but, you know, whatever. So you get, like, three versions of Goldbergs. So there you go. Kind of like in 2K20, <coughs> 2K15 was, excuse me, <coughs> there you go, I uh, do apologize, was Sting, I don't remember 2K16, so, I mean, I think Sting was the better, best one in my opinion because, you know, it's a WCW legend, Goldberg been in WWE before, but now after 12 years he's back, so that's the reason why he's back for one reason, Not that's one of the reasons, but there was more to it, so basically... So he's back for one last match. Yes. So basically, the deal was here. From what I heard, in reports was while they were promoting the game, there were some question of he ever gonna come back this for one more match, and he basically said yes. He said, "Wow, Bill Goldberg is old. Why is he still wrestling?" Well, I can also say why does Hulk Hogan wrestle in the sixties? Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Bret the Hitman Hart. At one point, even uh, past their prime, they did make an appearance. And because the reason is, you know, it's called entertainment. Even so, it's wrestling, it's entertainment. You know, just to be in the ring one more time, just to do something in the ring, and there you go. And, you know, look at Bret the Hitman Hart. WrestleMania 26, he was there against McMahon. And then once in a while, he would team up with John Cena. There you go. But it doesn't do much. It's just... Just being the ring, just being part of WWE is already good enough. Same goes with Hulk Hogan. And of course, Sting. Same thing. So, it was the same deal with Goldberg. So, why not one more match? So, again, I mean, he's in his 50. I think he's still good. So, one more match. And another reason why he's back and he's going to wrestle at l- for one more match is he wants to show his son him wrestling live. So basically, in the path, I guess the backstory here is must, his son must be really young. Probably didn't have a kid before when he was when he was in WWE. Now he wants to show his kid, you know, his dad can still wrestle one more time. There you go. And in the past, if you're wondering why did Goldberg actually went to WWE, well, easy. Well, yeah, it basically from what I heard, he said the fans want him to go to WWE. And there was some talks with WWE. They made some a lot of deals. They had to talk to, and believe it or not, that's just businessmen. He Goldberg also talked to a lot of wrestlers and talked about like how good is WWE. And so he said, "Hey, why not? Since a lot of the WCW were in WWE, why can't I also? I can put in my resume. Hey, you know, I also wrestle on WWE. Ray Mysterio did it. Chavo Guerrero, Bill Demott, Booker T." Diamond Dallas Page, etc., etc. You get the idea there. That's why he went to the back, or in the past. So now, because he wants to rest one more time for his kid, will it be good or not? I don't know. And the reason why, I, basically, I asked the question is there was a big hype in WrestleMania 20: Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. So they're trying to hype this. Brock Lesnar wanted Goldberg. It's supposed to be the two powerhouse. Because, again, if you know Brock Lesnar, the guy's strong in real life, but it's also his gimmick in WWE is he's one of the strong wrestlers. Like, he's really he's really strong in real life. Sometimes he doesn't know his own strength, that he does tend to <laughs> hurt people really, really bad. And he doesn't, he, okay, in real life, behind the ring, behind the scene, he probably doesn't meant to, but, you know, oops, don't know my own strength. Same goes with Goldberg. Remember, there was in WCW, he accidentally put, sadly to say, he gave Brett the Hitman a concussion because he did a kick and it was so hard 
he did, he accidentally just kicked him. The, I mean, I don't know if it's holding back or not, or if it's just too strong. Yikes. Almost ended Brendan Hitman Hart's career. Again, they didn't meant to, but oops. Again, even Kevin Nash said, yeah, there was a backstory that the guy was too green. So, I mean, if you know, if you want to know history about Goldberg, it's on Google. You can probably Wikipedia it. Interesting story. Or if you have WWE Network, watch the Monday Night Raw about, or not Monday Night Raw, the Monday Night War. They talk about Goldberg. Yeah. So, again, back to WrestleMania 20 is they were hyping this Goldberg versus. Brock Lesnar, I forgot Jim Ross said they gave him uh, like a title. The oh, a movable object versus the in, in, unmovable object again, versus the irresistible force or something like that. So anyway, two big guys. Okay, for me the analogy here that I'm probably gonna use is I'm gonna use a dynasty. Well, Warrior Sorochi or Musa analogy here. So if Brock Lesnar is Lu Bu, Bill Goldberg would be Tarakatsu Honda. That's my analogy. What it is, is if you play the Musa game or the, the Warriors game, Samurai, Dynasty Warrior, or Warrior Sorochi, then you know those are the two most powerful characters. And you play the game, there's always been reference that those, that the other generals or historian warriors were shocked like wow man I can't believe that there's another guy that such exists and vice versa that there's only one guy who can rival Lubu or Tanikatsu and that's them so that's my analogy there the thing is both of them are strong I mean in real life they're strong it's just there you go so again right so when you're 20 well, basically what happened was the match wasn't really that good. It was like a 20-minute, I don't know, it was like they're bumping each other, doing basic move, and that was it from what I heard. I tried to watch it, and I stopped in the middle because it was just wasn't that really good. And I just said, okay, not really interesting. And a lot of people even said it, you know, they even said in the end, like, this is BS, this is BS, so... And the backstory down from what I heard was because both of them basically were going to leave after WrestleMania 20. Their contract was expired. One just wanted to, uh, wanted to quit. The other one wanted a new career for a change. There you go. And they both made an agreement not to go all out or not to basically hurt themselves. And that's what they're trying to, trying to hold back. But because of it to some extent... The match wasn't good. The performance wasn't good. It was just a boring two giant guy doing, I guess, bumper. What are bumpers? They were acting like bumper carts. There you go. So, again, like I said, this last match is going to be Brock Lesnar. So, what does this mean? Will it be good? I don't know. Would someone get hurt? Oh, I hope not. We don't want to see. Well, yeah. Nobody wants to see a bunch of mania, but, you know, sometimes happens. So, who knows what's going to happen? And no one even knows what pay-per-view is going to be. Could it be in Survivor Series? Could it be Royal Rumble? Or could it be WrestleMania 33? Who knows? So, it's great that Bill Goldberg is back. And I get, again, like I said, one more match. That was it. And then he's done. Am I excited for Goldberg return? Yeah, sure. I mean, the guy, you know, I prefer him more than Brock Lesnar. And again, like I said, the analogy of Lubu versus Tarakatsu Honda. Who knows? We'll just have, well, the WWE has fans. We'll just have to see what happens. So, again, maybe this time they'll correct their mistake and maybe they'll do a better performance. Maybe they have something, you know, down the line, like their strategy, what to do. I mean, this is not just, oh, it just happened. They, this, I mean, again, another thing, everybody should know this. Behind the scene of WWE or any wrestling, a lot of this are planned, like, way ahead of time, which people don't know. Ahead of time, it's like, him returning, probably they were already been talking in January and February, 
And then, like, who you going to wrestle? Well, I guess Brock Lesnar for the fans, because that's what they want to see. They're probably already talking about, like, what they're going to do, whatever. I mean, that's just, uh, that's the behind the scene that everybody, WWE, or every wrestler kind of know this. It's no-brainer. That's just, it is what it is. Like, a lot of this storyline, they do plan ahead of time, even so that they're not so good. <laughs> Sorry. That's just, that's just how it is. But, yeah. So, well, WWE fans, let's see what happens about Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. One last match for Goldberg. So with that, thanks for listening.